Coach Larry Bergman takes a hands-on approach to coaching, and he takes that same approach to handling your car. So join Coach's team and give your car, truck, or boat the MVP treatment at Coach Wash, where our customers call the plays. We're going to go outside, and instead of going to the football field, we're going to go to the cross-country course, and that's because the Burnett High School cross-country team was in Lano for its Invitational on Saturday. Now, of course, the Bulldogs were the only team from Burnett to send a full boys team, led by Umberto Mejia, who was 17th out of 117 runners in 18 minutes and 8 seconds, followed by Catherine Drake, who was 34th, out of 120 runners on the female side, she of course finished in 13 minutes and 18 seconds. We're going to stay outside and talk a little bit of Marble Falls tennis. And that's because the Mustangs are busy preparing this week for the start of District 25 for a play. In case you don't know, the way that the District 25 for a coaches decided to rate the tournament seedings is through a round robin. So while in years past you had to play everybody in order to determine head-to-head -head competition on who got to go to the playoffs, in team tennis this year, everybody is playing each other for seedings. They will have one three-day tournament, District 25 for a three-day tournament at the end of October. And then based off the round robin that they're doing right now, they're going to decide the seedings. Once you have the seedings, then the top two teams going in will receive buys. The other four teams will be playing each other until you come up with the top two teams, and then those two teams will go on to the playoffs. Of course, Marble Falls will be at Leander Rouse 4 o'clock Friday, but before they do that, they are going to be hosting an outstanding Fredericksburg tennis team at the Marble Falls tennis courts on the high school campus beginning at 4 o'clock. That's it for sports. I'm Jennifer Fierro. Connie, back to you.